the Great Depression, things have been more difficult, he couldn't bring in as much of the quotas. But he traveled and he practiced his French a lot because the, the Belgian machers that he had to deal with, he spoke in French. Dutch was the language that I grew up with and Blanche grew up with and at home. Uh, and of course in Shul, in, in Washington Heights, German was the language of the Shul. So we had um, preparation for travel in that respect. And Blanche was, you know, part of that family tradition of coming and going and being kind of international minded. And of course, she became a travel writer. I'm sure that her articles will eventually be assembled into a book and be put together into one volume. I'm sure that's going to be done with lots of editorial talent in the Mishpucha. But anyway, that's not uh, details we have to think about right now. Um, Gavino Yana told me, maybe it would be nice to from Kirk Elvis to do certain things, which I have a little index card, you know, talk about, but certainly uh, uh, people in New Blanche, an activist, a doer, not someone who would sit on her laurels and kind of, you know, just contemplate the, the clouds, but to go out there, someone who needs help, someone who needs a good word, someone who needs a shit of something, whatever. She's there, gets on the phone, does that. This is the kind of active, prompt, you know, person, Zoris, that, that she was. Anyway, if you want to look in Pirkeolis a little bit, number of things which of course are, are apt for today. One is the very end of Perekhamishi Ben Hehe Omer Lefum Tsaro Agro. A person's reward after life as here in this world, the Fum Tsaro, depends on the input, on the investment, on the kind of struggle and effort and sacrifice that they registered to do the mitzvahs, to help people, to carry out all kinds of chesed. According to that, agra is the ample reward. And here, if we look in the Mishnah, we have uh, a lot of important things in the sixth parak, which is the parak about Torah study and the importance of Torah. And uh, you have at the end of Mishnah Gimel in, in Perak Vav, in Avos, you have Ein Tov Ela Torah. Goodness, real goodness, is the way of life of Torah. Shneemar, as the Postuk says, Lekach tov nosati lochem, toros yaltazovu. Lekach, if you speak Yiddish, you want to make a kibbutz, is honey cake, but we don't mean honey cake here. Lekach tov nosati lochem, I have given you uh, a very important take home message, that's lekach. <coughs> toros yaltazovu. The Iker is not to abandon the Torah, the Torah's values, the Torah's directions of how to live. And then the next page continues. Kachi darker shal Torah. The way of Torah, again, Lefum Tzara Agro is not a simple thing. There are times when Paspa Melach Tochal, when a person may find that all they have to eat is bread with salt, the mind of Masura Tishte and the water perhaps is measured out in some small little vessel. Balor's Tishan and perhaps people have to sleep on the floor or equivalent to floor. The Chayit Tzara Tichy and some of may have difficult challenges in life. Uva Torah to Omel, nevertheless, in all of what the Torah calls us to do, they continue to toil, they need to do for others, they need to carry out mitzvahs, they do all the things they should be doing. Imat also can if you do all that. Ashrecha v'tovah. It seems like a duplication. Ashrecha, fortunate, v'tovah, and it's good for you. Well, fortunate, but for you, it seems to be the same thing. So it's Chazal say no. Ashrecha b'olamazeh. Ashrecha means fortunate in this world. As Hirsch always translates, Ashrecha, forward striding, advancing. Okay? Shon Ashurim, which is... Uh, tov, the world of Tov is all of all the world to come. And the Mishnah continues, Al Tavak is to do a lot Do not seek greatness for yourself, Al Tachmot Kopot, and don't be covetous of looking for honor. Yosem and Limud Chaseh, again, depending how you put the punctuation, is that Mishnah is read different ways, but the punctuation here in the Kahati version. Yosem and Limur always do more than what you've studied. If you do just what you've studied, okay. If you do more than you've studied, because you can intuitively sense where you can do more, where you can do better, where you can help the person even beyond the kind of thing they asked for, this is the way to go. And don't go and say, I wish I was sitting at the table of kings. Because your table, as a person who follows the Torah, lives by the Torah, your table is greater than their table. 
as we see in the next Mishnah, Gedola Torah Yosem and Akunam and Malchus. Torah is more important, more valuable, more precious than Kahuna, the priesthood, or Malchus, or kingship. The Kisra Chodol Mikisra, and the crown that you will wear, spiritual crown in heaven, is greater than the crown worn by kings. Don't say Lachah, it says Lach, which here is very appropriate. Baal doesn't mean uh, an artisan, it means the Balabus, the proprietor. The proprietor can be trusted to pay in full the wages of Pulosecha, of the toil and effort that you exerted. I think that those who know the person we are thinking about and remembering are aware of how much she strove to fulfill these ideals to the utmost. And beyond that, those who know her children, those who know how they live, are aware that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, as they say. Baruch Hashem, these ideals are not just ideals that she lived by, but that she passed on. Children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. And she personally enjoyed great-grandchildren, which is a tremendous success as well. And I think that uh, with this, uh, the portrait we can pair, point, paint at this point uh, has been painted. I think people know whom we're keeping in mind. And I'm sure that her life will be an inspiration, not just for her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, but will be an inspiration for all of us.